Honorable Emmeline Peer, Minister for Education, Human Resource Development, Religious Affairs and Information. Mr. Kevin Andal, Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Education. Mrs. Angela Finley, Chief Education Officer, Ministry of Education. Ms. Chevron Redhead, Chief Executive Officer, Digicel. Ms. Kathy and James, District Education Officer for District 3. Other ministry officials, ladies and gentlemen, welcome all. It is indeed a momentous occasion because today we launch Spice Math, the brainchild of the Minister of Education, Honorable Emmeline Repair, and M-Star Learning Support Platform. These platforms will create virtual sessions with the hope of creating more opportunities for students while embracing the various learning styles of the students across the nation. It is very timely and will be welcomed by all our teachers, students, and parents especially at this time while we practice social distancing. At this time, I would like to invite our Chief Education Officer for the Ministry of Education, uh, Mrs. Angela Finley, to make her remarks. Honorable Emmeline Peer, Minister of Education, Human Resource Development, Religious Affairs and Information, Permanent Secretary, Mr. Kevin Andel. District Education Officer, Ms. Cathy and James, District 3. Other Ministry Officials, ladies and gentlemen, good day. I have been tasked this day to welcome you to the launch of the SPICE Math Initiative and our long-awaited learning support platform, the MSTAR LSP. Both the SPICE Math Initiative and the MSTAR Learning Support Platform, the MSTAR LSP, are indicative of that trajectory of our ministry, a commitment to embrace all aspects of ICT integration to support better student outcomes. Today's event comes at a time when the entire world is reeling from the effects of COVID-19. And now more than ever before, persons are acknowledging the important role that information technology can play in enhancing the quality of our lives. It is my hope that coming out of the ashes of COVID-19, the ICT solid Phoenix will emerge and that teachers and the students will both embrace technology as a vital commodity for lifelong learning. It is therefore my pleasure to welcome you all to this launch, and I do trust that this ceremony today will strengthen our resolve to do all that we can, despite the weather, to make education for all our students so much better. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much, Mrs. Finley. We do appreciate those remarks and we look forward to launching MSTAR to our students. At this time, I would like to invite Ms. Kathy and James, District Education Officer for District 3, as she come and share her experience with the platform. Honorable Emmeline Pierre, Minister of Education, Human Resource Development, Religious Affairs, and Information. Mr. Kevin Andal, Permanent Secretary within the Ministry of Education. Mrs. Angela Finley, Chief Education Officer. Ms. Chevron Redhead, Chief Executive Officer of Digicel. Other ministry officials, ladies and gentlemen, good day. It is indeed an exciting time for the Ministry of Education amidst this challenging time. As we provide opportunities to engage our students and work with our teachers so that they can connect with our students in the comfort of their own home. The launching of MSTER LSP 
and spice math makes this possible. The power of information technology for education lies in the ability to provide effective platforms for reaching out to people. It is therefore imperative that the Ministry of Education be at the forefront of providing the education platform where students and the teachers can access the ever-changing ICT environment. This platform, which I am speaking of, caters for the very needs of students and parents and provides online resources right at their fingertips. Emster LSP has a repository of licensed educational resources aligned to the curriculum framework that will be sufficiently comprehensive to enable learners to successfully meet the requirements of the curriculum. The program will allow users to interact with the resources and receive interactive feedback and track individual student development. Furthermore, it provides study breaks using interactive games, a typing tutorial, which is an added asset for students and teachers to develop and improve on their typing skills. This platform serves as a virtual radar system which would provide valuable information to parents about their child's activities and progress at school, and at the same time, provides a real-time digital view of the school to the school administration. In my exploration of the Emster Learning Support Platform, I was intrigued. First off, the home page was reflective of Pure Grenada, the Isle of Spice. This is home. It was easy to manipulate. There were tutorials to assist in the navigation of the platform. There were many interactive resources for all levels, preschool to secondary school. The syllabi for the various subject areas were readily available and accessible with quizzes and many more. Definitely a platform to share. And this I did. I shared this platform with my daughter so that I can get a feel of what children will experience while using this platform. All I had to do was just give her the link, the username and password, and see what she will do. And to my amazement, she was quiet for about half an hour, did not say a word. So I, in my mind, was wondering what was happening. So I engaged her, and I said to her, what's the matter? Her response to me was, Mommy, don't disturb me. I have work for a long time to do. And I wanted to know definitely what sort of work she had to do. She said, Mommy, you didn't explore this thing. I can learn to type. I have study break, you know. You don't want to give me study break sometimes, but I have study breaks. I can play games. And she said, all the tools of Microsoft is already there and I can be certified. She was so much pleased and excited about this. From her initial introduction to now, she constantly asks, can I go online? Can I explore? And she has been using Emster LSP from that initial introduction right up to date. I know as she explore and as she get deeper in and more addition is made, she will see the excitement of learning online and being part of a virtual classroom. This platform has much to offer for teachers, students, parents, and administrators. In this technological era, the passion for accessing information through the internet is boosting across all generations. Parents, teachers, students, and education officers can communicate and access up-to-date information. I encourage each and everyone to share in this experience as we work together to transform our education sector, making education free for all. 
ICT plays a pivotal role in the education transformation process, and we recognize the potential for ICT as the fundamental pillar that drives education development and creates an enabling environment for learning. Look forward to you using Emster LSP. Thank you so much, Ms. Ms. James. We do appreciate your experience and thank you for sharing your experience with the platform today. Ladies and gentlemen, we do appreciate the support from our corporate bodies and we'd like to invite Ms. Chevron Redhead from Digicel as she makes some remarks. Hi, my name is Siobhan Redhead, CEO of Digicel Grenada. And with our teachers and students being at home, our priority was to ensure that there's an avenue for them to stay connected. Now we've worked with the Ministry of Education and continue to work with the government by extension, of course, to ensure that there's an option for them to continue their virtual classrooms and e-learning sessions. I must commend Minister Emlyn Pear on all our efforts towards this venture. And our work with the Ministry of Education will continue geared towards offering teachers a reliable and effective way to stay connected with students and facilitate classes during this time. We are close to developing an e-learning platform so the students can log on and access information on a variety of subjects. Digital wants to assure you that our commitments to our employees, clients and communities remain strong and we will continue to serve you. Stay connected connected to your friends and family during this time while we practice social distancing. I thank you. Thank you so much, Ms. Chevron. We appreciate the support of Digicel. Thank you so much again for being with us today. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, I would like to invite the Honorable Minister, Emmeline Pear, the Ministry of Education, Human Resource Development, Religious Affairs and Information to make her remarks. Education officials of the Ministry of Education, principals, teachers, parents, and students. I greet you today with mixed feelings as we face these very challenging times. Recently, we have had to change the traditional concept of school and move faster to embrace the concept of e-learning. The opportunity that COVID-19 presents must be embraced to help us to advance with the inevitable transformation of the teaching and learning landscape in our country where technology will feature center stage. At the Ministry of Education, we continue to aggressively pursue our ICT agenda. Within the past year, much progress was made working with our different partners we have been able to bring broadband internet services to more schools in Grenada. We have been able to facilitate online examinations. We continue to provide computers and other support services and systems in the area of information technology in schools across Grenada, Karakou, and Piti Martinique. We have also committed significant resources to expanding our education management information system, IMIS, and our eBooks platform. Only this week, we completed phase one of the project to introduce eBooks in schools. After a long process of researching, engaging, and tendering, a company was selected, and we are in the process of preparing to purchase these laptops for the launch of phase two of our ebooks project. These ebooks will come preloaded with books for subjects taught at the primary and secondary school levels, self correcting assessments, and a world of teaching and learning resources. Today, we take an additional step ahead as we launch our own online platform with teachers parents, and students in mind. The new MSTAR LSP will now be available to all students from pre-primary to secondary schools in Grenada, Carriaco, and Piti Martinique. 
This platform, which can access or can be accessed through the domain mygrenada.mstarlsp.com, is designed to give students access to learning materials and information that can help them to excel. It provides an opportunity for teachers to communicate with their students, assess their performance, and add learning resources and material to help students learn anywhere. In the last year, the Ministry of Education, together with MGRM, the company which designed and built the platform, started training with principals, teachers, and education officials. This training will continue after we have gone past COVID-19. Meanwhile, we encourage teachers, students, and principals, education officials, to take full advantage of this platform and what is available at this time. Already available on the platform are courses to improve typing skills and tutorials aimed at improving computer literacy. CCSLC and CSEC specimen papers and hundreds of practice tests for over 30 educational areas. Links to a wide range of educational sites with learning materials for students from KG to Form 5, educational games, and so much more. I am happy to let you know that I actually logged onto the platform myself, and I am satisfied that it is a useful tool for students, teachers, and parents. In light of the current crisis, we are encouraging teachers and students to continue to use more purposefully any platform that they have been using before, which facilitated teaching and learning remotely. Today, however, the MSTAR platform is launched as the official platform of the Ministry of Education, and we encourage everyone to access it. As Minister for Education, I'm also heartened by the response and support from education officials, principals, teachers, and parents. In this difficult time, as we suddenly moved to learning and teaching from home. I thank you for this overwhelming support for this initiative, and I applaud the team for the long hours of work that went into making this a reality. I am not expecting this process to be flawless as we have entered into new territories, but I am certain that coming out of this, our students and teachers would become far more comfortable and prepared as we move ahead with plans to transform the teaching and learning environment. A fully functioning learning platform opens up a world of opportunity it is my hope that everyone would make the best use of it. Still in keeping with our ICT agenda, SPICE Math, another online project, which we are also launching today, will bring together some of our best math teachers over a period of time to deliver math classes online. This would not just benefit students in school, but many students who are attempting to do math privately for external examinations. The objective is not just to provide lessons to our students during this critical time, but it is also a strategy to improve students' performance in the area of mathematics. The statistics shows that we have seriously underperformed in this area for many years. SPICE Math would be accessible as a link on our MSTA platform, as well as through other mediums such as GIS TV, the Ministry of Education Facebook page. SPICE Math would target math students from grade five to form five in this first phase of the project. Later on, we hope to add versions of other subjects such as English. Our students at home now have an added opportunity to succeed 
not just for now, but for all times. At this time, I wish to recognize the MSTAR team and the technical officers locally who contributed to the journey thus far. I also especially recognize Digicel for partnering with us to provide data for all teachers and students during this period as we face the challenges of COVID-19. The Ministry of Education will now provide through principals login credentials for teachers and students to access the MSTAR platform. In closing, I wish to inform the general public that the Ministry of Education has written to CXC recommending that the dates for CPEA, CSEC, and CAPE be deferred to a later time. In communication with the head of CXC, he has given us the assurance that CXC will soon make an official announcement after consulting with all member states. We encourage parents. We also encourage our teachers to continue to prepare for these exams through all possible online learning resources. Again, I want to commend the team at the Ministry of Education for the support given and the opportunities provided to our students at this time. To Digicel and everyone who have contributed um, to this process, to our principals and teachers, for your contribution and support, let us always remain focused on our mission. May God continue to lead and guide us, not just in this period, but always. And may we be always reminded that he will never leave us nor forsake us. May God bless you. Thank you so much, Minister Pear, for your remarks. And I know it is well in line with the Ministry's vision in supporting a well-managed educational system that promotes the principles of morality, equity, relevancy, and accountability, and lifelong learning opportunities that will produce educated and skilled citizens capable of making a meaningful contribution to their society. Thank you again. Ladies and gentlemen, join us now as we introduce our Spice Math program. Spice Math, that's right. We add it up, multiply math. Spice Math, okay. A couple things we're gonna learn today. Spice Math, all right. Take some time, educate yourself. Spice Math, that's right. You won't believe it's just math. Come on. Just you won't believe it's just math. Just math. Hi, I'm Ruth Dutton. Hi, I'm Aaron Williams. Hi, I'm Brandon Alexander. Hi, I'm Kelvin Dutton. Hello, I'm Lyndon Sincere. We are your Spice Math tutors. Hi everyone, welcome to this episode of Spice Math. I'm excited. Why? Because we are going to explore and study linear equations. By the end of this video, you should be able to, one, write a definition of a linear equation, two, Identify a linear algebraic equation. Three, recognize a linear equation and name its parts. Four, use an online app to graph a linear equation. And finally, formulate your own linear equations. I must say I'm excited because any topic in math that is related to graphing equations, whether linear or nonlinear, spurs something inside of me. So I hope you are excited as well. Let's begin. The tools you would need are a pen and a pencil, 
a ruler, a notebook, Desmos graphing calculator, or GeoGebra. Take a moment to go online and search for Desmos graphing calculator or GeoGebra. You're also free to use any other online app that can graph your equations. You won't believe it's just math. Well, there you have it. You won't believe it's just math, and it will be more than just math in, in, just, a, in just a bit. You will um, enjoy more than math. So that was wonderful. Thank you so much. That sparked a lot of things in me just now. I think I want to learn math again. Um, thank you so much for that. We look forward to the first episode of the Spice Math series to be aired on GIS, the Ministry of Education and Spice Math Facebook pages. There will also be a link of the series on the MSTAR platform. At this time, we'd like to take a walk through the MSTAR learning support platform. Welcome to MSTAR. It is our new learning platform, and I know this is going to work. It's so timely now, especially with the, yes. the coronavirus and all. Um, this, this platform is a student learning support platform. So it's, a, it's something that we, we plan to use to support whatever is being taught in the classroom face okay. to face. Now, this is brilliant because we have all your courses listed here on the dashboard, mm -hmm. and we have over here, we have the professional development tab, which has has um, three three courses listed that you can get certified in. Oh. Type in Microsoft Word, um, Microsoft Excel, Excel, and PowerPoint. So that's oh, four okay. courses that you get certified in. Wow. Also, what is cool about this platform, we have the CXE prep section. Oh, and nice. I know a lot of Form 5 students will benefit yes. from this, um, this, this as well because yeah. they can actually go in and take practice quiz. You don't quiz. have to go to the ministry. <laughs> exactly, you don't have to go to the ministry to get past papers and of course, it's right Right there listed for you. You can get past papers, specimen papers in all the classes that wow. you're taking at the CXC level. So we're gonna go through it. We're gonna um, I'm gonna show you how these work. I'm gonna okay. we're gonna go through some of the professional development. We're actually gonna take a, a, a practice test in one of the oh, courses okay. as well. So let's go. Are you excited? Yes, miss. Beautiful. Let's go. This is our platform. This is our homepage. The platform is called MSTAR Learning Support Platform. All right. Okay. So today we're gonna use a uh, the username we're going to use is moe.student, right? This is a generic generic um, username. Once okay. once we set you up as a student, you will have your official student name with your username with your okay. first name, dot last name, or whatever. All right, so a password. Let's put in our password. The password, once you log in here, the, this page will take you to a page where you can personalize or change your password to suit you, right? Okay, good. There we go. So this, is, when you once you log in, this is your wow. home page. All right, nice, right? All right, and of course we have what I want to um, highlight here. Once you see um, dashboard on your left, the dashboard is a really cool because this is what this is where you have everything. All the information is here. This is what will link you or send you back and forth to whatever information it okay. is. So on your dashboard, you have your calendar. Right. Okay. Usually you would also see your holidays and important information that your school is having. So, for example, you might see sports or something, oh, okay. you know, in this in your calendar as well. Now, we could go back to your dashboard and we have private files over here. Under private files, we don't have anything uploaded yet, but you as a student, you can upload assignments, oh, essays. Oh, like an essay, right. Exactly. And let's go back to the dashboard we have my courses now under my courses you have all the courses that you are doing as a student so these are just some examples for now so let's click on english form 5 all right once you hit english form 5 you see this this mm -hmm. is important your teachers can all always go in and put your announcements in here under announcements we have um general news and announcements so the teachers can post um, when an assignment is due, for example, okay. if you have a test next week, oh, right. if you have like a tutoring session coming up and whatnot, CXE coming mm -hmm. up, so they might put um, maybe a past paper announcement or something. Reminders can go okay. under this folder as well. Let's go back and as we're back into 
English Form 5. So let's go back there. Now, under the announcements, you notice they have CSEC, English A, and English B syllabus extract, all right? Oh. So what your teachers have done, they've gone in and they've put in the actual syllabus for the English course. Oh, so I could follow along. Or exactly. And CXE always encourage people to, they encourage the teachers to actually make sure that the students have the guide, the right. students are, you know, au fait with the syllabus. So okay. this is very important, um, knowing what is coming up, knowing what is, you know, required of you for the right. English course for Form 5. All right, so that's that. Um, let's go back. Now, under here as well, we have some CXE English specimen papers. And there's an online quiz attached oh, to Oh, like it. real past papers? Like real specimen papers with wow. the answers. Well, not with the answers. You'll get the answers after you take the practice course, right? Okay. After the practice quiz. So this paper, this is a specimen paper for paper one. And this is a multiple choice paper. And you can actually go in and submit grades submit your answers to this to this oh, like a real CXE like exam? a real CXE exam it's timed and you get practice as well right so let's go to review over here and the quiz navigation is here so when once you answer the questions Yo. yeah exactly it's it's pretty dope do you yeah. guys say dope now yeah I don't know if you're dope dope let's do this question items one to five instructions it's actually set up like an actual cxc paper so you not having done cxc before could actually go in and you can get an actual practice exam which benefits you all oh, right all right um so the instructions each sentence in this section has one underlined word choose from the four options the word which is closest to opposite in meaning to the underlined word all right so question one says the guest speaker's words reinforced and they've underlined this so we're finding the answer to this right reinforce the view that capital punishment can influence the rate of crime in a country now what is the opposite the question is asking for the closest to opposite in meaning so what do you think the answer is here miss i think the answer is a a all right so reinforce destroy this is just a review so maybe we have to actually go in and take the quiz re oh that's what we have to do Oh. review the review button is for you to go in and review oh, your okay. answer so we need to actually um all right we actually taking the quiz all right um so you said you think your answer is a right yeah miss destroyed all right so let's click on a so a has been highlighted let's go to the next page and let's finish attempt for now and let's see how much we got all right so it's saying not to, so it shows you all the questions that have that have not been answered yet. So it's also oh, correcting one time. It's correcting it immediately. Yo. All right. So this is kind of cool, a very cool feature. So you actually, so if we go to submit all, submit all and finish. I know we haven't finished it all yet, but it's highlighting how many questions you got. Or up here, you will notice. It shows you what you got, how much time you took to take the quiz, and how your grade out of 60%. So oh, right now okay. it's showing 0% because you got that answer wrong. Oh. Okay? So it's going to tell you here, like if you look here, you said the correct answer is dispelled. Oh, and it's showing the answer They're one showing time. showing the answer everything one time. All right, so if we go to English B, it's a similar setup. You have your syllabus. So you have past papers for past all the papers subjects? for all the subjects that have been entered Yo. in there. It's, it's kind of cool. Now, in, if you want to go back to your homepage, you can just go back to gov.gd and you get back to your homepage. Just click on that little nutmeg. All right. The, the spice happens here once you click on the little nutmeg. All right, so this is your, this is your homepage. We're back to where we started. Now, another cool feature I want to show you. Um, you see this professional development it's here professional professional development yes of course you need to be a professional one day that's what we're aiming for now um this doesn't only benefit your you as a student i think it could also benefit you as the parent a parent and also the teachers now there are some students who don't type as fast so these courses like me right and sometimes you you don't complete an assignment because this is timed because some of your quizzes will be timed of course 
Um, you don't complete your assignments fast enough because you don't type fast enough. Right. So what they've done, what we've done here is upload some professional development courses. So I'll take you here. So they want you to take advantage and look at this. You've uploaded learn to type so you can go in and learn how to type. Wow. Microsoft PowerPoint is there if you have to make a presentation. Excel is there. Excel is something that a lot of people don't know how to use yeah. properly. So Excel is there for your benefit. Also, Microsoft Word is there. So let's click on Microsoft Word to see if we can go in and learn a little something about Microsoft Word. So they, they, they've listed the project. Let's go to lesson one, understanding, understanding Word. Under this feature, you have understanding word lesson. And then of course, that, that has downloaded here. Let's click on that, see what, what comes up. Still downloading. It's downloaded. So they've given you the understanding word lesson as a PowerPoint presentation. Let's do a slideshow here. Understanding word in a PowerPoint presentation. Isn't that beautiful? All right, so this is yeah. your lesson. And you go in. There are about 80 something slides in here. So let's. Like a real course. Like an actual course. And what is very cool again, you also have the understanding word quiz. So you're going to get quizzed on it. You also get a certificate after you take this course. Oh. All right, so during your, your vacation, your Easter vacation or summer vacation, you could go in, master your skills, master learn how to type mm -hmm. and so on. So let's go back. Let me show you this. Now everybody needs a break at some point in their life, yeah. right? Yeah. Study break. All right, so let's go here, check them out. Let's check out the study break. And you know what's even cooler? What? The study break is not, you know, go on the beach or go on fly a kite or play ball. Uh. It's an actual game. Oh, an it's An educational game. game, right? Like PUBG. Well, it's still a game. Oh, okay. All right. So let's, let's try the math game, mathgame.com. I think your teachers can go in and upload games, quizzes, puzzles. Oh. All right. So you can try that. Let's go to addition. Let's, let's try beginner. Okay. All right. So this game, I think this one you have to add before it gets to the thing. So let's uh, one and one is two. All right, beautiful. So let's see if we get one wrong and see what happens. So the like one and one, let's put five. All right. So you see what happens oh, if you don't get it right? Destroying the city. Let's do three. It's gonna destroy the city. So you have to get all correct answers before it destroys this city right here. See? Oh. Fun game, right? So that's your study break right there. So I'm gonna let you try this one. Let's see if you can go back to the home page. Remember how to do it? Um, you have to click on the nutmeg. Click on the nutmeg, beautiful. The spice, click on that spiciness right there. I must say this was a, a in my opinion, a really good platform for us to introduce. Yes, miss. Exactly. Yeah. I, I think I think it has a lot of benefits, especially for students preparing or the form five students mm -hmm. who are preparing yeah. to go on to maybe St. George's University, Tam C C Tam C C uses a similar platform. Mm -hmm. And of course, um, UE also has a, an online platform for students okay. who, who don't want to leave the country. So students can go in and so on and learn yeah. online. So so they should use that one. They should, they yes. should get like this one, right? Yeah. Maybe they should use this one, but I think this is very good, mm -hmm. especially for the Form 4s and 5 students yeah. right now, because they can get a, a, a hand, they can get practice yeah. with the CXE prep. Remember, we went through this one, yes, yes. and you saw the benefits mm -hmm. of that. Students who have never done CXE before can go in and actually do a practice quiz. Mm -hmm. Your grades are yeah. immediate, one you know, the, and then the feedback, you get mm -hmm. feedback as well. So I think this would be an excellent platform for us to use and I think it, it's beneficial now that we have this crisis and I, of course I remember when when we were hit by Hurricane Ivan in 2004 uh, students were displaced from schools because they were using the schools as shelter so this would have been a really nice tool for them to use back then because students would not have you know lagging behind so I think this is a very good platform and I think we should you know really promote it as a as a, a platform for students support yes miss i'm loving the vibe yeah nice so there you have it ladies and gentlemen at uh, this time i would like to call on mr kevin andal as he come and make some closing remarks
Honorable Emlyn Pear, Minister for Education, Human Resource Development, Religious Affairs and Information, Mrs. Mrs. Angela Finley, Chief Education Officer, Mrs. Siobhan Redhead, Chief Executive Officer of our Corporate Sponsors, Digicel. Ms. Katian James, District Education Officer. And all other stakeholders who have made this event today possible, we thank you for your support and your contribution. It is important in everything to give thanks and to recognize. And with this, I hereby show appreciation to Honorable Emily Pear for her remarks and strong and visionary leadership during this period of COVID-19. Mrs. Angela Finley, thank you for your welcome. Ms. Katian James, we are appreciative for your sharing and we are indeed more enlightened now about the platform. Digital, to your Chief Executive Officer, Ms. Shivan Redhead, for your remarks and also for your support and sponsorship for this important educational venture. We are appreciative. We cannot forget the designers of the learning platform, NGRM, and the support our IT team gave to all of us during this development and what they would do in the implementation of this initiative. We thank you and we are appreciative. Education officers, we cannot forget you for your continued support and guidance. Spice Math would not be possible without the tutors, and we are indeed grateful for what you have done so far and what, we, what you would do in the future. Teachers and stakeholders, your contribution is second to none, and we are appreciative for all that you have given us. I would like to recognize the parents and students Without your support and commitment to this initiative, it would not be possible. In closing, I would like to remind all of us, all Grenadians, that we are responsible for providing the enabling environment so that during this crisis, our children, the nation's children, can still participate and experience quality education remotely. These initiatives are just a few of what the ministry has in store for the period. Please stay safe. Observe social distancing. And remember, the future of Grenada is based on our actions today. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of the launch of our SPICE Math and MSTAR learning platforms. Just want to say thank you again, special thanks to the Ministry of Education for launching these two um, platforms. And I want to thank you today for your attendance and I hope that you stay safe. Remember to practice social distancing.